The Ampol Women's State of Origin is just unlike any other kind of rivalry, I think, in any sporting code in Australia. You want to just go out there and dominate. <laughs> Winning last year um, for us was massive. The New South Wales defence has crumbled. It, it still hurts. What was it? Two minutes to go and they got that penalty in front. So it was just a two-point win and it's. I think those games hurt the most. And the Maroons have done it again. Yeah, I'm really confident we can continue our win streak in Canberra. We've got a great squad. I think to get that trophy back, we're going to have to put the fire in our bellies and do everything we can to get there. I think the Ampol Little Origin is such a great initiative. I think it just gives them that confidence um, to be out there on a big stage and play the game that they want to play. And I, I wish I had that growing up as a kid. I think it gives them skills about rugby league in general, but I think it gives them life skills as well. And yeah, it just really shows them what the pathway that they can build and grow into as well. So it's definitely rewarding for me to be a part of it. I think just seeing all their smiley faces, it's pretty rewarding. I'm honestly so honoured to be um, a part of it. When I was a little one, I would have loved to have been in something like Ampol Little Origin. It would have been awesome. So yeah, to see that next generation of players come through, to have that opportunity, to be included in such a big game is something I think us as a playing group, as a female playing group, can be really proud of. The day of Women's State of Origin for me, it's it's very chill. For me, it's a big sleep in. Yeah, I think it's just really calming my nerves. I don't want to waste energy thinking of the game. I'd rather just put all my energy into the game at eight o'clock. My nerves definitely build in that lead up to origin. I'm not superstitious and I don't have a kind of a set routine going into games. As soon as I put my jersey on though, that's when I'm switched over fully into game mode. This is the game everyone wants to be a part of. Women's state of origin. Intensity is up there. It's really draining. You've got to do the best you can for those minutes and hopefully get the job done. The Ampol Women's State of Origin game is the hardest 70 minutes of footy you'll ever play. Stay outside! Southwell gets us underway. Sergis playing with two broken fingers sustained in training with the West Tigers. You can see that left hand heavily strapped up. And there's Harden again. Speech pathologist during the week. Rugby league player on the weekend. Come on! Talisha, you've got to go for a HIA. So an early HIA for Talisha Harden, spotted by the bunker. She will not want to leave the field. She's letting them know. And Queensland have their best field position of the night here. Rayleigh Nati back on the angle. Destiny Brill for Queensland. Ali Brigginshaw back off the post. And this could be a factor tonight. New South Wales looking to respond in kind here. Decent kick. Tonegato! How on earth did she get there? It's a miracle. Oh, the dummy from Kira Dib. No one expected that. Steps around and scores! Kira Dib with the try of her life. The good news for the Maroons just had word that Talisha Harden has passed her HIA. She is eligible to return to this game very soon. Centrefield scrum for Queensland. 20 metres out. Aiken, no touch on her. What an opening 35 minutes we have seen. It's New South Wales 14, Queensland 10. Just received word, guys, that we have a new record crowd for women's state of origin. So fantastic for the women's game as it continues to grow. And it's Brown who kicks things off and may well play out the contest. She's playing with confidence. Johnston on the run, juggling her way back into action. Aiken in search of a double. Stripped out of there by Politi for the corner and scoring a priceless try for Queensland. Loz Brown in hostile territory. How's the kick? Trying to squeeze its way in. The post comes to the rescue of New South Wales, who cling to a two-point lead here. It's a long way to go yet, Speedy. Five minutes is a long time in origin footy. Riggenshaw, what kind of work can she get on the footy this time? It's very high. Getting there is Robinson. What a moment this could be for Queensland. Suzuka, try! The Maroons have done it again. And where did Robinson come from to provide the try assist? She's way offside there. We just saw on the replay, Tasha. This won't count. Under 
It will not. What a roller coaster ride this is. 16 14 in favour of the Sky Blues. Less than four minutes to go. Well, it's getting fiery out there, Speedy. It is getting fiery. Crowd right into it now. 12,000 plus in Canberra. Tonegato quick hands. Clever by Kelly. A star of the game. Isabel Kelly. Above a try in origin. Six point lead, and this one will count. And the siren sounds. New South Wales have the shield back. What a contest in Canberra. And the joy is there for all to see. The atmosphere was unbelievable, and I think that's what really got us through. So it's unbelievable. This is what Origin's made of. Yeah, still pretty gutted. It still kind of hasn't sunk in yet, I think. Um, you know, seeing our families and friends, it's probably when it's starting to feel a little bit more real, but, you know, we'll give it a red hot crack next year. It was just a great seven minute game of footy, and the best team came out on top, and that's the Blues. I pinch myself sometimes because I still don't realise, I guess, what we're doing in the women's game myself. The game has already gone leaps and bounds and I think we've really got to thank the women that have worked before us because without them we wouldn't have the NRLW, we wouldn't have the Ampoles Women's State of Origin. Yeah, saying that it's pretty surreal that I get to inspire others and I guess little girls coming through the ranks as well, it's a bit crazy if you ask me. I would have never thought that I would, I would be here doing the thing that I've always wanted to do. So. It's definitely a surreal moment and um, yeah, I really pride myself with that. We wear a lot of hats um, as semi-professional women's athletes and you're wondering, you know, what do you put first, career or footy? Um, and I think a lot of the times we do prioritise footy uh, because we love it so much and we just want to see the game grow. Yeah, I think it can get really challenging at times. I think really just to balance work life and football life, I guess. But I guess we love it and we're going to definitely do what we've got to do to play the game and continue moving forward. And it's definitely going to get more professional as the years go on and we can definitely see that. But for right now, I'm happy to do the hard yards and I guess grow the pathways for the young girls coming through. I'd probably say to young girls who are wanting to achieve anything in life is just to get comfortable being uncomfortable. You know, get outside your comfort zone, try something different because you never know what you're capable of and why not? Give it a go.